Hungry, be hungry. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Freaks. Do you even know that the camera's on us? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Can we lay down? You're a bit low, ain't you? Yeah. Can the camera even see me from there? Seriously. How's that? Yeah, because I can't see it. We'll watch the footage. I can't believe that was 20 minutes long. Right. I did not feel like we were talking for 20 minutes, did it? Mm. Break your leg. Break your leg. You're washed. Recorded? No. Yeah, yeah it was. Brilliant. <laughs> this is me thinking I'm going to break my leg. What what what, 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 what were we gonna talk about? Uh, ah, university update. Okay. You're gonna rip it off. What's that thing you do? Was it when you were drunk you ripped off, ripped your um? Ah, oh, you ripped your phone case. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you no, my wallet. My wallet it was. It was my wallet, wasn't it? Yeah, he's your he oh, phone, my case, phone case. Like a, flipped over. Yeah, yeah. You bloody thing! You just ripped it off. You know, I've got this now. Then in the morning, you're like, "What happened to this?" You ripped, ripped it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would drink my cup of tea, but I haven't made one yet, and I didn't realise we were starting the um, video just yet. So we haven't. Is it recorded? I just like get, getting videos of you before you record. <laughs> Why? You usually do something weird. Mm. Uh, okay. See, I'm gonna end it. Yeah. Welcome back to Turner Guys. It's Jacob here from Turner Guys. And this is Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hi. Introduce yourself properly. Hello there. My name is Kyle Sands. I'm a student of paramedic here at the University of Worcester. I share a channel with Jacob here. Um, and today we're going to talk about a university update. Um, <laughs> you forgot what we're going to I completely forgot what we're talking about. Anyway, back into. So, we're just going to yeah. chat, really. We haven't really recorded a video together. Um, you guys might think it's a bit strange. Me and Jacob haven't recorded a video, but we share a channel. We've actually we actually recorded more videos together when we live in different cities. Yes, yeah. it's been it's been kind of weird. When you, where do you live? You, you live there. I literally live. If you come out this door, I live there. So uh, it's we, not even different buildings. No, same building. We kind of have different sort of university has been a kind of a, a mental, great, mental experience so far. It's been kind of think of it like a really fast train, and you just can't stop. And we haven't had the time to record a video. That's a really bad um, analogy of it, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just please forget I said that. It's a really um, fast train, you can't stop. Yeah, but you're kind of going like full speed and it's kind of like, yeah. you, you get you trapped. You don't really see everything around. You get trapped yeah, in it. So yeah. it's, it's kind of nice. To, we are going to make a video like this every month, 100%, and sit down and just talk about our university experience. How it's going. How it's going. Things we were a bit concerned about, things we didn't expect, things we are enjoying. Just so, because we get a lot of comments, like record a video with each other, why aren't you recording? And you, you guys are right, we don't record videos kind of together, and we should do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're best friends, we we should record videos together, but we just hadn't, haven't had time, so I'm sorry for that. Um, we are, we, we're going we're gonna to... Yeah, we, with, with placement and stuff, you know, it's just been insane. But we've had placements, we've had assignments, uh, we've got an exam coming up very soon, Yeah, we have. and it's just been quite busy. Uh, we haven't even thought about what. Because when before we record, we usually have a conversation like, "What do yeah. you want to talk about? Is there anything what, that's on your mind you want to talk about? Is there anything you find that's a good idea?" Um, and usually, usually because when we're at work or when we're at college before uni, we had a lot of time to think about this. Yeah, but we don't now, do we? No, we don't really have much time. It's it's been a bit, it's been a bit full on. Uh, the course is kind of what I expected with the intensity. Studying, you have to get used to studying with around things so me and Jake went, me, and, me and Jake have both went into university as you guys know single you know we we kind of we didn't want relationships well I, I, I wouldn't say I didn't want one 
we did, we just have a hole here. Yeah, I'm digging myself. I did not want to watch this, No, I wouldn't say I didn't want it, but <laughs> you put uh, it the dog I wasn't wasn't expecting one really. Yeah. Everyone around me, you knew that. Even Jacob was was surprised when I got into a relationship because I just wanted to focus on my career, and that's all. Mm. I, I was in this sort of. No, I would. I, really I started see... think you were like a eunuch or something. A what? A eunuch. What's that? They don't have like the bits. Testicles. And penises as well. They're you know, like various of Game of Thrones. Why would that stop me getting a relationship? No, just because it had been such a long time. Oh, it's <laughs> a good. It's a good title for the video. Kyle the eunuch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was. You you kind of know when you know. And I knew, so it's yeah. You, yeah. you know when you know. You, when you look at someone, you know. You know. You know. You know. So that's the saying. You know. You know, isn't it? You, you, I've I've never heard that saying, but yeah, I get what you mean. When you know, you know. Um. So yeah, it, we're, we're, me and Jacob have both been living different lives. We haven't really been seeing each other as much as we used to in different cities. It's kind of weird mm. when we live there. Like Jacob's got his his little life, and I've got mine. Um, we've met new friends, so we, we're hanging around with different people as well, kind of. Mm. We're not always with each other. We're not. Um, we've we've also spoken about doing more things together because we don't do a lot of stuff together just because I don't know different different things getting in the way. Yeah, it, yeah, it happens. There's a, a lot a lot of stuff happens when you get into university, and it is busy for the first couple of months. University is just full on. You've got like right. freshers. You've got your first exams, your first assignments. You might find a new relationship new friends, wanting to explore the city. It's, it's one of those things where it's just insane. It's, yeah. it's something you don't really expect. It's like once in life, especially when you're moving to halls, it's oh, gotcha. such once in life opportunity. Like I I will always say, guys, move in halls if you mm. find your first year, because it's such a good experience. So I, I know it's expensive and a house is cheaper, but halls yeah. are so much fun. I think the big things that happened this month as well, that we, we haven't spoken about on the channel, what we've briefly mentioned is a couple of things that I want to mention is we've actually sorted out a house for next year. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, we yeah. have the, the file somewhere, actually we shouldn't really show them to be honest, but this uh, is where we live. It's where we live in and you should come, but uh, we, it's a massive thing for, for any student, you know, sorting out a house. We've never done it before, obviously we're, we're students. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we, me and Jacob are living together, as you guys imagine, but we're also living with the four people we share the halls with. So, like Jacob mentioned, living in the halls, you get the experience, but you meet people that you wouldn't yeah. usually meet on the streets or mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because you, you do share, you share a lot of stuff and uh, interests the same as people you live in the halls. A, a lot of different types of people we share. Halls, yeah, so we're lucky because we spent, we share it with four other student paramedics, whether some people don't, yeah. they get their mix, but we are lucky. Uh, so we sorted that out, we're moving in. Uh, we can move in in August, but I think we're going to be moving in probably like September time. Um, I think it's about ninety-five pound a week, isn't it? Yeah, Yours your is your room's ninety-five. My room's eighty-five. Is it? I thought it was ninety. I thought mine's ninety. Yours is eighty-five. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mine's eighty-five. Yours is ninety. Mine's ninety. Yeah. Um, but internet isn't in, isn't included, so we're kind of yeah, chipping in the internet, so. um, which isn't much, guys. A couple of quid with six people. <laughs> what was that? You <laughs> letting out air. Um, yeah, yeah, my lungs just like you know. Uh, what else has happened? We've got the exam coming up. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got an uh, exam coming up. Uh, anatomy, physiology. Um, so the things, the things that are covered. Should we, should we mention a couple of things that are covered in the exam? Have you got the list? Of yeah, I've got covered? the list. Uh, so as you guys imagine, anatomy, physiology is everyone's worst nightmare. Okay, endocrine system, lymphatic system, digestive system, functional, functional organization of the body. Cells, tissues, organs, and systems, homeostasis, immune system, and immune response, introduction to microbiology, introduction to development and aging, genetics, uh, anatomy and physiology of the digestive system, human you nutrition. You read, you read digestive system twice. Oh, that means I've revised digestive system twice. <laughs> so I've done all, all that. That's good. Um, so, you know, with, with some exams, they kind of say you're doing this uh, and that's what you, you revise. Some don't. We have been given topics that we need to revise, and we could be given questions on anything in that. Uh, I think the pass marks forty percent, which is quite low. It's quite low, but with you, you're bound to get a lot wrong. Yeah, because some of them are multiple choice. Some you have to say. So one question that we there was an example was um, describe the function and the location of the pancreas. So you'd have to say where the pancreas is in the abdomen. 
um, what it does and the exocrine and endocrine uh, functions of the pancreas. So you sort of talk about that and it could be about 15 marks, which is a lot of marks really. I think it's about, is that Joss? Yeah, it's Joss. And it's probably about 150, 160 marks. Uh, and it's 40% of that, so if you do the maths, that's the uh, that's the pass grade. So it's a big exam. Um, I think you get, you know, your first submission, and after, if you fail it, you have to retake yeah, it. Yeah, you do retake in August. August. So, and if you fail it from then, I think you take it in the second year, uh, amongst your studies. So it, it's quite a big exam, and that's happening on the tenth. It's the seventh today. We're kind of cramming in uh, revision. But we also have been given an assignment as well in between that. It's on the 9th. On the 9th, which is a 2,000 word essay on a reflection. So, <sighs> we've been, we before Christmas, you, you, got, you guys have seen from Jacob's video, uh, Placement. So, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. It's, what's it called? Uh, I don't know, First Placement, Parent yeah, Science. So, yeah, that's it. So, go and check, that, check it out. It's like an 18 minute video, but it's really good. Jacob's explaining, you know, day to day what's happening on placement. It's really good. Jacob's yeah, it's, it's five five weeks, so it's just a uh, wide well, don't know that. Five so weeks. me and Jacob went to a care home. Um, Jacob was in commentary. I was in, in the Neaton. Mine was a rehabilitation ward, so it's different to a, a care home. It's kind of uh, safe. You're on a ward, but you can't go home because you can't you can't you're not safe to go home. You go into this little ward. They look after you until you have what it's in place to go home. So a bed rail, um, stuff like that. So just, you know, maybe like a ramp to go up in, in into your house, just so yeah. it's safe for you, so you don't end up back in the hospital, basically. Yeah, it's basically like short term. Yeah. My, my okay. placement was in a dementia care home, so I was placed in Coventry for my placement, so I stayed at home. Um, uh, working in dementia care again was great, just because I, I worked in there for like nearly two years before. Yeah. Well, I worked with dementia care for nearly two years before, and it's great to work in there again because I already knew what I was doing. Yeah. So it was just felt like I was going to work again, but I wasn't paid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's great doing placements, and we're going on placement in, in next week actually for PTS. I'm in Worcester, he's in Gloucester, the unlucky bugger. Not because Gloucester's bad, just because it's far away. Yeah, it means I can don't drive. That's another thing that we have to work on is driving. I'll choose my bike. I'll show you my folded bike actually. Yeah, go find you a oh, folded bike. You can't get out. Ow. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Jake was placed there. I was placed here in, I'm placed in Gloucester. He's in Worcester. That's his folded bike. It's pretty cool actually. Over the Christmas period, We've been both doing different things as well. Jacob went home, I went home to my family, as you can imagine. Did you work over the Christmas period? No. But I got um, I got some money through anyway, so. Yeah. So, Jacob got some money through. I worked over Christmas. I got the uh, Naro virus. Naro? Which, uh, I got the Naro virus. If you guys have had the, the virus, it's not very nice. I'm just taking the piss out of it. Yeah, I'm just completely ignoring what you're saying. What is it then, Jacob? What? How'd you say it? Well, you say Naro. How do you say it? Noro. It's not. Yeah, it is Naro. Noro virus. It's not, it's Naro virus. No. Googling this. I've oh, got a blue tag over your camera. So people don't spy on me. Hmm. It's not Neuro. It's Naro. I'll Google, I'll Google this stuff. How do you say N E? No, it's N O. You said that's what I'm saying. It's Noro, N O R O virus. In that's Spanish. <laughs> if it's Neuro. Turn it on. Noro virus. How do you say it? Is this your build at least? It says it. It's like 50 second like long video. <laughs> Noro virus. Noro virus. I thought it was N E. No, anyway, moving on because we're, we're, we're got we're recording a video here. If you haven't noticed, um, what's the hardest hardest word to pronounce in English? <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Should we look at that after the video? Sorry. How to say sorry? That's not like, the hardest word to say in the English language. Um. Sorry. 13 minute, no, 30, 1 minute 30 video just to say sorry. So, yeah, um, I had that. Oh no, here they are. Do you want to do this actually? 
Why is it? It's like the hardest. How is Worcestershire the hardest one to pronounce? So this is like a thing I just found, like the hardest words to pronounce for like the English language. What's that one? Pneumonilostrophic silcovia. That must be a that must be a disease or something. Worcestershire. Hypoatomosophobia. Dog phobia. Dog. Dog? A uh, rural. That's not hard. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Sixth. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Su I was thinking. <laughs> all I saw was Supercell. <laughs> I'm playing like too much game, too many games. Zaga. Zaga Charmososis. I know, that's um. Ah, oh, I've heard that before. Vision. Wait, can it say it? Absolutely not. Shall we? Squirrel. Squ Goodbye. Colonial. Drawer. Drawer. Hello. Turks. Weird one. Right, Ben. This is Ben. Meet Ben. Hi, hey guys. <laughs> uh, we're just looking at the hardest word to pronounce in the English language. Yeah, we kind of got sidetracked on the video. <laughs> yeah. And uh, apparently one's goodbye. One's sorry, goodbye. and one's um, rural. Rural. But you got the top one, it's unpronounceable. We're just uh, giving them an update on the, the course so far. Uh, we've been saying about the assignments and... Scotland's apparently really. Murderer. It's just it's normal words. Hell. Yeah, Ben... Ben, uh, how did your assignment go? <laughs> yeah, so we've we've had a or so far we've had an assignment due. We had placement, which you had to do a certain amount of hours. Pressures. Is that Joss? Yeah. yeah oh good. my God. What's up in the window for Joss? Sure, anyway, guys, I think we're gonna leave this video here. This is kind of like being a little update. What's that? Um. Huh. I hope you guys do enjoy your days. Uh, good luck with your interviews. Good luck with everything else. This has been Jake from Toronto Guys. This is Carl from Toronto Guys. This is Ben. Ben! <laughs> Basically the third up and coming. Is it? We're also trying to house with him. We did mention that as well. Yeah. Anyway, um, good luck with your interviews. Good luck with everything else. And just stay on there. Stay on there.